Crown rump length is the measurement to determine the length of human embryos and fetuses. The accuracy of the crown rump length in dating the pregnancy depends on good correlation between the measurement and fetal age in a period when growth is rapid and minimally influenced by fetal pathology. The crown rump length is the longest length of the embryo or fetus measurable excluding the limbs and yolk sac. The embryo becomes a fetus after 10 gestational weeks, that is, 71 completed days based on the LMP. The crown rump length is predictive of fetal age, with an error of 3 days, 90% confidence limits, from 7 to 10 weeks. And of 5 days from 10 to 14 weeks gestation. The crown rump length grows approximately 10 mm per week from weeks 8 to 12. In cases of multiple gestations, the crown rump length of the fetuses is the most important ultrasound parameter for dating of the pregnancy and, if necessary, to correct the gestational age in cases with a non-reliable menstrual history. The onset of early growth retardation in one of the fetuses may indicate a higher risk for chromosomal abnormalities. Normally, the crown rump length correlate between co-twins, although some degree of variability has been observed in multifetal pregnancies. Measurement of the crown rump length can easily be done at the time of the first trimester scan, 11 to 14 weeks of gestation. Later in pregnancy, correction of gestational age should be avoided, since growth curves in multiple pregnancies differ from those in singleton pregnancies beyond the second trimester crown rump length. Between 6 and 12 weeks gestational age, the measurement of the crown rump length of the embryo is most accurate for dating. The now classical study by Robinson and Fleming on crown rump length is still the main reference for the assessment of gestational age in early pregnancy. There are no significant differences with measurements made by the transabdominal route or the transvaginal route. Because transvaginal scan provides superior resolution and more accurate identification of the embryonic structures than abdominal ultrasound, new charts have been developed for the period of gestation before seven weeks. To conclude then, the crown rump length is measured as the greatest length in a straight line from the cranial to the caudal end of the body, in the straightest possible position of the embryo fetus, excluding the limbs and the yolk sac. Thanks for watching. O oh God enlightened the understanding of my followers. Amen. Please subscribe if you haven't so you get notified each time a video is uploaded. Thanks, subscribe, like and share to others who might be interested. Subscribe.